Welcome back to my channel. We're back with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. And to do split screen, if you go up to the navigation and you press and hold on the actual symbol, you've got the option of App Info, Opening Split Screen, screen or Opening Pop-up View. So it's a split screen and then it asks you for the next item to open up. So you then have two items open, that's Facebook on the left and the internet on Chrome on the right. And then you can drag. You can drag. The bar. Left and right to resize. And it works well in landscape and it works just the same in portrait so that is split screen you can also do pop-up So you do pop-up view, it's like having a picture in picture, which you can also resize. So you can have two things running at the same time. And you just click on the X and you can go home. Next you can activate a blue light filter or eye comfort mode. So from the menu, pull down menu, you can do blue light filter and it turns the screen slightly more yellow. If you press and hold, it'll take you to the settings page and it reduces the blue light filter for better reading, especially at night. And you can activate sunset or sunrise and to actually get that from the menus it's under settings under display and you can activate blue light filter now navigational key settings at the moment this is the one ui pull up which you have the previous apps the home screen and the back button if you go to the pull down menu settings you can go to display then navigational bar and then you can change you can change the order so you've got the recent home and back or you've got back home and recent i've got the full screen gestures or you can go back to the original navigational bars as you can see on the bottom so there's two options and then you can have them swap them around so you can swap the navigation and the recent actions tab so that's navigational bar the digital well-being so you can find out what you've been using over the last day or week. So under settings, digital uh, well-being. Here you can tell you how long you've been using the tablet on the last day. So I've been using it one hour and 43 minutes. So if you click in the middle, it'll display 
how you've been using screen time, notifications received, and how many times opened. Notifications. So that is digital well well-being. Samsung DeX. If you pull from the pull-down menu and choose Samsung DeX, close that. So you can adjust the window, you can move them around and you can make them bigger or smaller. Same with YouTube and you can do that with most of the apps. You can maximize them, minimize them or you can just close them. And to come back out of Dex, click on Dex and then you can do Exit Dex. The camera on the Samsung Tab S5e. So if we open up the camera app. So at the bottom it's got pop, live focus, photo, video, hyperlapse and it's got panorama as well. And in the settings So you've got the rear camera settings of 16 by 9 and you've got UHD, Full HD or HD, that's the video size, you've got Full HD or 1 by 1, I prefer 16 by 9 And you've got the front video side, again 16 by 9. You got full HD or HD. You got 1728 by 1080 or 1 by 1, 1440 by 1440. Go back to photo. It's scene op optimized, camera modes, location tag and grid line, uh, rich HDR is turned on by default. You can choose 16 by 9 right from the screen, so you can choose 4 by 3, 16, 9, one one or full. If you go into settings, display, you've got the option of font size and style and a screen zoom. If you go to screen zoom, it enables to make everything bigger. So if we go back to home, you've now got a giant screen. So if you sl slightly problem reading small text, you can now go to extra large. If you go back into settings, you can now reduce that back to your whatever setting you want. And everything zooms out. The same again with font size and style. This will just affect 
the text on the screen. So if we go back now to the internet, the text is now a bit bigger. As you can see there, it's a lot bigger. So if you go back into settings, reduce the size of the font, all the text is now a lot smaller, so you can fit more on the screen. If you'd like to know anything else about the Samsung Tab S5e, add it to the comments below, press the subscribe button. See you on my channel soon.